3D printers can make all kinds of things, but while these things can look amazing, do they sound amazing? No. No they don't. I like it loud. But is there even such a thing as a loud 3D print? Oh yes there is. These are all 3D printed noisemakers, from whistles to warblers to uh, whatever that is. And in this video, I'm going to test them to find out once and for all what is the loudest thing you can 3D print. I um, think I'll be needing these. Let's get started. All of these noise making devices were printed on my Artillery Sidewinder X2, Longer LK5 Pro, and Creality Ender 3 3D printers in PLA. And I set a criteria early on that nothing requiring motors, batteries, or electronics would be included. They must make sound purely through me blowing into them or moving them in some way. And I'll be judging them on three separate criteria. One is their ease of printing and assembly. Two, their loudness using this decibel meter at a one meter distance. And finally, a somewhat subjective fun score, which might help you decide which one of these you might want to print for yourself. So let's kick things off with number one, a kazoo. Ah, the humble kazoo, bane of music teachers around the globe. This buzzing wonder was supposedly invented in the 1840s, but it was really the advent of cheap plastic kazoos that made them the annoying party favor we know today. And now you can 3D print one for yourself. Printing Nicholas's kazoo is super easy with no support material required, but I would recommend a wide brim for security. And all you need to add to get that lovely buzzing sound is a small disc of plastic or wax paper. I found these super thin sandwich bags work the best. You jam it down between the kazoo body and the screw so it forms a nice tight membrane and you're good to go. Considering the last time you played one of these was probably in kindergarten, you might be surprised by the fact that A, you blow into the larger opening, not the smaller one, and B, blowing on its own makes no sound at all because you need to actually hum. And that gets the membrane vibrating. Let's see what it can do. The kazoo is a fun, easy print and puts out an impressive 79 decibels. So if you don't value your sanity, print a couple of them for the kids. Number two, Ocarina. If you've ever played Legend of Zelda, you know exactly what this is and what it sounds like. The Ocarina is a very old wind musical instrument in the category of vessel flutes, which date back more than 12,000 years. This gorgeous 3D printed example in Polyarchemy Gold PLA, designed by Nermaid, uh, I think that's how you say it, but there's an even better tuned version that I missed, so I'll link that one below. There's a ton of variations online, but many seem to struggle with tuning and reproducing the higher notes correctly, but that doesn't really matter much to me because I have no clue how to play it properly with the correct finger placement. If you do know how to play it, however, it can sound beautiful. Just listen to how Rob handles a fully 3D printed Ocarina. Print time is fairly long, but very easy with just a little bit of support material to hold on the base, which is removed afterwards. And it's actually pretty loud and clear, highly recommended. But what's that? You don't have a 3D printer? Well, thanks to this video's sponsor, Micro Center, you can pick up an Ender 3 Pro for only 99 bucks. Beyond their impressive range of computer hardware and tech, Micro Center is your one-stop shop for all things maker, from 3D printers to filaments, resins, and much more. And their Ender 3 deal has proven so popular that they've extended it. All you need to do is grab the coupon in the link below and rock up to your local micro center because this deal is for in-store purchases only and you can grab an Ender 3 Pro for $99. I really like how accessible Micro Center is making 3D printing with this deal and it's great to have them support another video here on Makers Views so show them some love in the description below. Now on to number three, Noisemaker. This design is actually from MakerBot from way back in the day, and it's printed in four parts and then assembled. Otherwise known as rattles or ratchets, these things sound exactly as you would imagine. With a simple board and gear wheel that repeatedly ratchets past as you swing it around like a maniac. 
Apparently they have deep roots in Jewish tradition as well as other religious practices and the sound they make is definitely distinctive and quite loud. Let's give it a whirl. Printability actually wasn't that great if I'm being honest. Clearances are quite loose and I had to plain cut the handle down so it could be printed without awkward support material removal. And it's certainly not the loudest at 76 decibels, but it is definitely annoying. Next up, Water Whistle. This little bird represents one of the most ancient whistles in this video. They've found clay examples in Egypt, South America, and across Asia, and they all tend to look like birds. And this is why. The trick to this warbling sound is in the name, water whistle. To get them to work you need to add just the right amount of water into the resonating chamber so that it barely seals to the roof of the whistle, so when you blow into it, the air pushes past in bubbles or waves, creating that change in tone that really does sound like a bird chirp. You can also play with its tone further by shaking and tilting it, and it is quite a lot of fun to play with. Oh, that's loud. There's a ton of 3D printed examples to choose from, but this particular chirping bird whistle seems to be the easiest to print and the most likely to work. Sure, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but yeah, it works really, really well. And it's painfully loud at a high pitched 93 decibels. Now from something mimicking life to something mimicking the afterlife. This is the Mayan death whistle designed by Tack Blades who remixed it from this Mayan skull scan that was tidied up by Julie on Thingiverse. By the way, Prusa printers have rebranded their model repository to printables, so if you have anything hosted on Thingiverse, like a lot of these files, I would highly recommend migrating away from there, because I don't think that site has very much time left, but I did like the fact that Thingiverse had this whole remixing thing going, which Printables has inherited. But what were these so-called death whistles actually used for? Well, in actuality, no one really knows. Some think that their use was ritualistic, others believe they were used during war to intimidate the enemy, but there's no question that the sound they make is truly terrifying. Take a listen. This death whistle is a quick, easy print requiring no support material or assembly and makes for the perfect party favor. Just don't be surprised if you summon some uninvited guests. Next up is the Orange Screamer by Andy Gadget. If you're gonna print anything from this list, I consider this thing. It's a simple three piece print that snaps together and although mine is red, it certainly does scream. If the sound is familiar, that's because it's a kind of siren whistle, with the original being the Acme Cyclist Road Clearer invented in 1880. You might have never heard of it, but you've certainly heard it. I did try a few other designs which work okay, but simple seems to be best in this case. I just wish it was on a special ring. Yeah! I meant our wedding rings! If you're wondering why there is so many 3D printable whistles and noisemakers available, well, MakerBot's Make It Loud competition from 2015 is probably to blame. And topping that competition was Joe Zeezer's V29, so called for being the 29th revision of a very loud whistle design indeed. It's actually two whistles in one using an ingenious internal layout, and it 3D prints cleanly, quickly, and with no support material. And it is really, really loud. Hearing protection, definitely advised. It's claimed to reach 118 decibels, which is insane, basically at the pain threshold of human hearing. Mine reached only 95 decibels or so at one meter, which is still stupid loud. However, it was not the loudest whistle I tested. Enter the telescoping tube whistle by time framed. It's collapsible for your convenience. They designed a whole range of tube whistles, but I couldn't go past the insanity of this print in place telescoping model. 
To keep the segments held in place to the print bed, there's these designed in brims that need to be cut away, and I found that part to be pretty dangerous if I'm honest and difficult using a sharp Stanley knife. So do take care if you print this, and maybe try a thinner brim or raft instead. Once cleaned up though, the telescoping action is super satisfying and does actually help to increase the sound level a lot, going from 96 to a staggering 101 decibels when fully extended. This is well beyond the range that can cause permanent hearing damage if sustained, so if you do print this or V29 or the bird whistle, please use them appropriately. I cannot state that enough. The volume of these whistles is incredible. But anyway, last but very much not least, I give you the most complex model I printed for this noisy print shootout. This hand-cranked air raid siren designed by Philip or MLE PH. He designed several versions and I went with the one that uses real bearings in the hope of smooth operation. Unfortunately, not only does this design require a ton of printing, but all of the interfacing parts needed a lot of filing and sanding to make them fit because there's no clearances built into the design itself. Now, my 3D printers aren't incredibly accurate. I'm totally willing to admit that. But even the best machines in the world can't reproduce a plus minus zero tolerance, especially when you consider the accuracy loss when you convert a file to STL. All I can say is please add a 0.2 millimeter clearance to the bearing surfaces and this will be a much easier model to assemble. In the end, I did get it together, but mine has a lot of rubbing issues, sadly, probably from the rough filing and sanding, but here's how it sounds. There's something foreboding about a good air raid siren, so I definitely want to get this working properly, but even in its current form, it's putting out a hearty 95 decibels at one meter with its dual tone rotors, so it's definitely not quiet. Unfortunately, I can't recommend the print at its, in its current form due to the clearance issues, but I definitely can recommend the sound it produces. It sounds awesome. So which noisy print was your favorite? Or maybe you have another that I didn't even feature here. Please let me know in the comments below. And a big thanks to Micro Center for sponsoring this video on Maker's Muse. If you wanna pick up an Ender 3 for $99, there is still time. Learn more at the link in the video description. And you'll also find links to all the models featured here down below. Here on Maker's Muse, it's my aim to empower creativity through technology. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Catch you later guys, bye. <laughs>